Hello everyone and welcome back to another unexpectedly random product review. We are here um, with a, well it's, it's not really a new product I guess, but it's a different situation. Um, what we, what we have here today is a product called New Caffeine. Let's see right there if I can keep my uh, directions right. New Caffeine. And my camera is not going to refocus on it. <laughs> um, what this is, is it's liquid caffeine. It's a, uh, basically you can make your own energy drinks, your own beverages, uh, what have you. Um, it's kind of neat. If you recall, um, in the past, I've done a review on liquid caffeine. And it was actually this company, um, Sage Bloom Health Labs. Um, they they reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in doing a review for them. And, I mean, it's caffeine. So, <laughs> they were kind enough to send me this bottle of their caffeine concentrate for free. Um, which was wonderful. Absolutely appreciate that. Um... And we're going to give them a nice, honest, and clear review here. And I got to be honest, completely honest, right up front, the bar has been set pretty high with the caffeine that I've been um, consuming so far. Um, I'm not going to mention them by name because we're focusing on this, on new caffeine in this review. You can check the channel if you if you want to know for sure. And I've conveniently censored the uh, <laughs> product bottles so I can reference it. Um, a little bit here so that's kind of the bar that we're going to be putting it up against in comparison i do i do um add this we're going to call this caffeine k because that's not the uh not the brand name at all um i do use this every every day basically um i mix up some apple juice in the morning um that's my Rather than drinking a crazy energy drink with all kinds of other chemicals and crazy things in it, I just throw some caffeine into some nice, wonderful apple juice, and I'm good to go. So, a couple of things about this, uh, about new caffeine. As far as ingredients go, it has four ingredients. Um, we're looking at purified water, natural flavors, which they've added to reduce the bitterness. If you're fam if you're familiar with my other caffeine review about this one here, um, you'll know one of the things that we talked about is it's very bitter. Caffeine itself is a very alkaline compound, and so it produces a very bitter liquid. So it has to be mixed into something that can can accommodate that. What new caffeine has done is they've taken I believe it's an extractive from a mushroom. Um, I don't recall right offhand, um, but it's a natural bitterness blocker. So it's supposed to make it so it's completely or nearly um, bitter free, which would be a fascinating change, a fascinating difference compared to what I've had before. Um, it would also open up a world of different um, applications. Then as far as other ingredients, there's citric acid, which has here... Um, and then there is nissin, um, nissin, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right, N-I-S-I-N, which is a natural preservative, um, which is kind of neat. They can, uh, because of their ingredients, they've stayed all natural, um, and I believe it's also vegan friendly, from what I understand. So those are some interesting things. Um, as far as caffeine K ingredients here, we're looking at... Uh, Deionized water, which is similar to purified water. Um, there are a few differences, but... Um, and then citric acid and sodium benzoate, which is a very standard um, preservative. But otherwise, it's uh, it's pretty neat. Comes in this, this wonderful bottle. This is their larger bottle, their 32-ounce um, version. They also have a 16-ounce um, version, and they have... One cool thing, and I'm actually kind of looking forward to trying it, New Caffeine has different flavors of 
this caffeine concentrate. So uh, the ones that I remember, and I may be able to list them all, they have pina colada, they have gummy bear, they have key lime, and there is a watermelon candy. And to be totally honest, when I looked through the flavors, I thought, you know, the, the watermelon candy sounds pretty good. That might be a, a nice route to try. <laughs> um, because if it truly is bitter-free or nearly bitter-free, so it's not um, difficult to, uh, to handle just on its own, then you could totally just do a, like, if you're doing whatever the dosage is here, um, the 10 milliliters, uh, which is 80 milligrams of caffeine, that would be eight ounce brewed coffee equivalent, um, something similar to like an energy shot, perhaps. You could totally just drink that and go. Then you don't have to worry about lugging a bottle of apple juice or something around with you. No worries there. <laughs> So that's that's something that it'll be interesting after after trying this to see if that's a, a, a route I do. I am looking forward to to trying that. So as far as our testing here, what we're going to do is I am going to test them both side by side. I'll start with this one because I already am familiar with Caffeine K's um, bitterness. Uh, so I want to start here so I don't I don't overlap or, or interfere with the taste of this one. So I, w I will try them just plain. Um, I've got some very uh, scientific measuring devices here for sampling <laughs> to get an idea of the bitterness level because that is a, that's a major component of caffeine. Um, they do have, as far as, the, as far as the bottles go, it's got, I believe, ounces on that side, one ounce and half an ounce, and then milliliters on this side. So you've got a handy measuring technique. You just open the lid here, and there's a foil. I'll tip it a little bit so hopefully you can see. You can see right on the edge here, there's a foil seal. You just pierce that foil seal, and then when you squeeze it, you squeeze the bottle, it forces the caffeine liquid up into the measuring chamber. And then you measure out your di desired amount, and uh, you go ahead and add it to whatever you want. I mean, drinks, you could technically cook with it if you wanted caffeinated food. Um, all kinds of stuff. It's it's super versatile that way. Um, yeah, of course, I do want to go over the warnings first before we get too much further. Um, it's not recommended to exceed, over, uh, exceed 400 milligrams of caffeine in any 24-hour period. Do not exceed 200 milligrams per serving. Too much caffeine can cause nervousness, insomnia, rapid heartbeat, not for use by pregnant or nursing women, people sensitive to caffeine, or children under 18 years of age. If you are taking medication and or have a medical condition, ask a doctor before using. Important stuff. Stay safe. That kind of thing. So, after we test for the bitterness, then I've prepared two bottles. One here of Caffeine K, mixed how I normally do, and then one here with new caffeine. Um, the apple juice is taken from the same uh, larger bottle, uh, so it's exactly the same apple juice. The base flavor is the same. They've both been refrigerated the same amount of time. Um, everything is everything is all uniform, and I've marked caffeine K so I can keep track of it. Um, and that will give us the best assessment. One thing that I did notice um, between the two Caffeine K is actually more concentrated than new caffeine. Because caffeine K in 10 milliliters, there is 100 milligrams of caffeine. Whereas new caffeine in 10 milliliters, which is the standard, uh, the standard dose, um, I guess, there is only 80 milligrams of caffeine. So you've got a 20 milligram difference in uh, in the hundred or the 10 milliliter volume. Um, so that's that's what 25 percent more concentrated. Um, kind of important to note, which 
because depending on what you add it to, the more volume of liquid is going to potentially dilute it a little bit more. Um, hopefully we don't notice that. Um, but if there's not if there's not any flavor technically or bitterness or anything, it may not be nearly as noticeable as it might have been had had it been a larger volume of a more bitter 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 substance. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We've got a little bit of the caffeine already prepped in here. I'm gonna tip it to the side just so I can get a little bit on my spoon. And uh, we're gonna see how uh, how bitter this actually is. Okay, we're probably just gonna have to pour it into the spoon this way. Just being careful not to spill it. Okay. Got maybe a teaspoon here in my in the spoon. It has no uh, no fragrance, so that's a good sign, I guess. It's still very bitter. <laughs> It's not it's not unbearable by any means, but there is still a lot of bitterness to it. Um, it's got a slightly different flavor compared to what I recall of the caffeine K. It's an interesting kind of bitterness. So as far as with with that assessment there I'm not I'm not seeing anything that would indicate that the bitterness is blocked um if it is reduced then that's some really bitter stuff to start with <laughs> we may have a little better frame of reference after a um refresher on caffeine K so we'll go ahead and pour, pull some up in here get it in the other spoon standard testing protocol with this highly technical process okay about the same amount on this spoon again no noticeable fragrance that one's also quite bitter This uh, caffeine K almost has has a fruity note, which may be from the citric acid that's added to it. Which there's citric acid in new caffeine as well. But I'm gonna be totally honest there. I don't notice any difference in the bitterness between the two. They are they are both mm. <laughs> Stacking bitter on bitter is kind of rough there. Um, they are both very bitter, which, to be totally honest, not surprising. Um, caffeine is a very, very bitter substance. So, that's that preliminary <laughs> assessment. Um, on the bright side, the apple juice has always been very good at masking that bitterness. Um, I've got... A little bit of water here, so we're not. Give us kind of a fresh, fresh start on the apple juice. So on this one, we're going to start again with the new caffeine based mixture. Since I'm already familiar with this one here, the caffeine K. Um, there's not really much else to assess at this point other than just uh giving it a taste it mixes well i i measured out comparable caffeine amounts so there is more volume in this one of the new caffeine because it's slightly less concentrated 
than caffeine K. But the caffeine levels are still comparable because if I were using it on a regular basis, that would be where I would, I would want to have it. Um, and as far as the amount that I used, um, it ended up being 20, 20 milliliters is what the equivalent to half an ounce of uh, caffeine K. So go give it a try. I don't think I taste it at all. I can, I can tell that the apple juice is a little, little diluted, but I, I believe I get some of that anyway by adding the, the caffeine K to it. Yeah, that that works pretty well with the apple juice. I am uh I'm not going to drink all of that right now. <laughs> um I'll throw it in the fridge and probably both of them so I don't uh cuz we are trying to watch that, <laughs> that caffeine level. Um Yeah, I mean it it blends in there well. The uh acidity and uh kind of the sourness of the apple juice takes care of that that bitterness it's phenomenal i know we're not reviewing the apple juice but that's been the best thing that i found so far to mix it into um that's also easy to take with me when i because i grab it and i go to work and then um i can drink it over the first whatever hour or so of work and i'm generally good to go for the day so and to compare here to the caffeine k version It's really, it's really not, there's not a noticeable difference, really. This one, this one, the, the new caffeine one is maybe slightly more diluted tasting, um, but it's not, it's not detrimental to the taste of the apple juice. It doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't mess with the taste at all. It still tastes like apple juice. It's just less acidic apple juice. Which, on one hand, if you have heartburn or trouble with acidic foods, <laughs> that might be a kind of a bonus. Yeah, there's, there's really no appreciable dis difference between the two of them. Certainly not to a, to a level that would prevent me from using it or anything. Um... I am, I'm going to be totally honest, because that's what we're here for. I am a little, little disappointed in the lack of um, the bitter blocker effectiveness. Because that is, that that's one focus point with this one, in comparison to what I already had, was was the ability to inhibit that bitterness. And I'm I'm just not seeing it. So as a product, as caffeine, um, it's, it is what it is <laughs> pricing wise, because that's a question. Um, this, this bottle here of caffeine K, it is a eight ounce bottle, um, unflavored. It's just the liquid caffeine and it runs, if you buy just a single bottle, there's bulk discounts and stuff, um. I believe it's seventeen ninety nine for the eight ounce bottle. Now this one is the thirty two ounce bottle, and I don't remember the pricing right offhand, but I, they do have the sixteen ounce bottle, and it was roughly twenty dollars, twenty or twenty one dollars for sixteen ounces, which is double the volume of this, and even needing slightly more because this one's slightly less concentrated. 
that's still that's that's a pretty good deal as far as price per um gram <laughs> price per i guess it's volume price per ounce so yeah it seems to be an effective liquid caffeine and the pricing is is quite good for it um it's definitely worth giving a shot and actually speaking of that because all of this is important i do want to um add this to the screen for those of you that are interested in liquid caffeine and particularly new caffeine um they have provided me with an affiliate link right up here it's sbhlabs.com slash new caffeine question mark ref equals random 15 and the link will be down in the description so you can click on it that will take you directly to their product page um, and you can get some of this yourself and give it a try if you want to um, one thing I do want to point out, this is an affiliate link, so any purchases made through that link will help out the channel. We also have for you guys, as a special bonus, we have a coupon code. If you enter this coupon code, um, stay random, at checkout, you will get 15% off your order, which is phenomenal. I mean, who doesn't love saving a little money on top of an already good bargain? <laughs> of uh, of the liquid caffeine so that is by m my assessment i guess i was gonna say professional but i don't know that i qualify as a professional um, um i'm at least experienced with liquid caffeine um it's a it's a good bargain and uh hey it's caffeine so you can get your energy for the day and to go about your business. I am still even even considering the, the, the bitterness option, I am still looking forward to giving the watermelon uh giving it a try. Cause that would that would be pretty sweet. Cause the caffeine K company, they only have just the liquid caffeine. They don't have any flavored versions or anything, so it's a it's an option to mix things up a little bit too. So I think that's gonna wrap it up. For this review, remember, affiliate link up there. It'll be in the description as well. Use code STAYRANDOM. Um, it's our classic tagline here on Unexpectedly Random. And uh, get 15% off your order, also while helping out the channel. This has been another Unexpectedly Random product review, and I hope you enjoy. If you guys do order some, let me know in the comments what you think. We'll get your... Uh, feedback on that and it'll be it'll be pretty cool uh to have that discourse so i've got nothing else for you on this one so till next time stay random